from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this 10 News update. Representative Duncan Hunter has pleaded guilty to a charge of misusing his campaign funds. Hunter faces a possible five-year prison sentence and a $250,000 fine when he is sentenced on March 17th. The congressman said that he was taking the plea deal on Monday for the sake of his children. He also said he is prepared to face jail time. Duncan and his wife were indicted on five dozen criminal counts, including wire fraud, conspiracy, and falsifying records. Customs and Border Patrol releasing new information about dozens of smuggling arrests over the weekend. Officials say 34 people were arrested in two separate incidents, both human trafficking events. First boat was spotted off of Point Loma late Sunday night, was carrying 21 people, including four suspected smugglers. Less than an hour later, another boat spotted near San Clemente. More than a dozen people were detained when it hit the shore. The city and county leaders say they have a plan that will solve the Tijuana River sewage problem that closes our local beaches. First step, getting funding from Washington. What's different this time is they're done talking. They collectively support this plan, and now they're putting it on those in Washington. Mexico is already committed to fixing the pumps and infrastructure to help with this problem as well. Let's get a check on our weather now with that rain coming. Megan, how are we looking? Yeah, so overcast and gray today. A very slight chance for an early shower this evening, but the brunt of the rain won't arrive until really tomorrow. We'll see a few showers develop overnight tonight with temperatures in the 60s today, 60s and a few low 70s inland, 50s in the mountains, low 70s in the deserts. And the bulk of the storm will come through tomorrow morning, lingering into the early afternoon. So the morning commute tomorrow is going to be a slow one. Maybe set your alarm clock a little early so you don't have to rush to where you're going. There's also a possibility of thunderstorms tomorrow. Showers taper off tomorrow afternoon and evening drying out early Thursday morning. Jim. Megan, thank you. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.